Hi, Corey Pepping here. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the PC gun. And I'm not talking the brand new rebuild, I'm talking out in the field rebuilding the gun. There's a lot of guys that have issues with the gun, they pull the cartridge out, throw it away. I'm here today to show you what I do to get the most mileage out of the cartridge and hopefully save you some money and get the use out of it that it's supposed to have. The first step to cleaning out your gun is flushing it out. I like to use a flush pot to clean the gun out to get the residual chemical out of it. It just makes working on it a little bit easier, a lot less of a chance of getting cross-contamination. So all I'm trying to get with this is to get all the chemical out, as, I, as much of the chemical out as I can. All right, we got the flush pot off now. The first thing I like to do is pull out my check valves. Because it doesn't matter how much flushing you do, there's still gonna be some residual in there, as you can see. So, grab my little bottle of cleaner. I also like to just kind of fill these up and let them sit in there while I'm taking the rest of the gun apart. So, start from the front, work our way in. Air cap. I'm assuming most of you know this or not, but there's a screw in here that will pop the cartridge out for you. It's right in the bottom of your gun. We'll put that in right here. Screw this in right here, and this will release our cartridge. When you're rebuilding guns, I like to have air. Air is your best friend. So we got that broke loose. Let's put this back right away so we don't lose it. We'll pop that off. Chamber out. Well, the first thing I wanna do right away is hose it down with my cleaner. Get it good and soaked, and we're gonna blow this off. I like to make sure I blow a little air in the uh, side seals to make sure they're open. All right, and we come back to the main part of the gun here. Now I flush this out. I've got all the chemical out of it. You can see I still have a little bit in there. That has to be gone. All of it's got to be gone. I'm going to hose this down really good. Blow this all out. Make sure there's no chemical left. A couple of things you need to watch out for. Uh, you have to watch out for chemical buildup. If you have buildup inside of this black housing anywhere, it could be down on the bottom, or this will be the top of the gun, because generally you have it sitting upside down. Anywhere in here, or inside this, the chambers from the uh, check valves to the side seals, you want to get that all cleaned out. The problem is, is if you leave, if you get buildup inside of this black housing where the cartridge seats, the cartridge might not seat all the way. So this is good. I verified this is all clean. We'll set that aside. Now let's focus on the chamber. The first thing you wanna do is wipe it down and verify that there's no scratches. With polycarb side seals, there shouldn't be any. This one doesn't look like there is. This gun was spraying all right, but it wasn't the best. This is usually the reason why right here. So you're gonna take your impingement drill and you're just gonna clean out these impingement holes. It might not feel like you're getting much out of there, if anything, but believe me, you are. So now that was the B side, now we're on the A side. It's, there's, it's grabbing some stuff. Put this back in. Make sure we got everything. Looks like we're pretty good, nice and clean. So a couple things too. Grab your air gun, blow it off really well. And I like to actually stick my air nozzle and just give it a little air and I'm gonna hold my fingers over the side, or the side impingement ports. 
and I want to just verify that there's air freely coming out of there. So now that my chamber is free and clear and opened up, I'm going to put this away off to the side. It's important to have a clean spot. It needs to be away from where you're cleaning the gun, away from where you're blowing everything. Hopefully you don't have to clean the parts again before you assemble them. Well, now we got the important parts done. Let's get the rest of this stuff cleaned up. Again, we just want to spray everything down, get all the residual chemical off, inspect them. Now's a good time to check your O-rings. This one looks pretty good. Off to our clean spot. All right, now we're to the air cap. And this goes for the Fusion Air Purge gun or the PC gun, but this thing needs to be clean. You got your front O-ring that rubs all day, every day around this cylinder here. So if you put that into your gun dirty, or if you put a new cartridge in and you put this in dirty, you're gonna wear out that front O-ring right away. It's gonna mess with your pattern. It's gonna make you think your cartridge is bad, but it's not. So this needs to be clean. And I'm gonna show you how. So I like to use my wire brush. You know, the front of this doesn't matter as much, but here's the important part. We need to get all of this buildup off. We want to make sure there's nothing on the cylinder. Then I'm, I like to take my impingement port drill bit and just, just barely put it in there. Just, just make sure your holes are clean and open. Then you'll notice when I did that, I pushed a little bit through. So now I'm going to grab my pick and just clean that out of there. There's a ring inside of here that needs to be free and clear. Feels pretty good. Again, you can also use a pick to verify your holes. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna blow it off. Blow it all the way around from the outside. Turn it around. And hit it from this angle again. Back around. So once you've got it all brushed out, blown off, just spin it around and verify. You can see through all four holes. There's also a ring inside of there that should be clean and clear. This one looks good. Last but not least, the front retaining ring. This I don't worry about too much. I'll take my brush, make sure the white Teflon ring is clean, and then I'll also spin it around. You can see there's a little bit of buildup right here. I'll just take my brush. That shouldn't be anything too stuck on. Run that around in there. And then I'll also just make sure the threads are all clean. I don't worry too much about the outside of this because it's gonna get covered in foam in three seconds of spraying anyway. All right, we'll just blow this off and make sure it's good.